Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. And as you can see, the subject this time is of a derelict church. Um, very easy to make, inexpensive, um, very quick and easy way of making buildings. So I'll show you exactly how I went about making it. Uh, before then, please subscribe to the channel. Costs no money. Uh, and if you click the notification bell, you'll be informed when new videos come along. Normally a couple of week. Um, I've initiated the uh, thanks button, super thanks. So uh, if you want to buy me a coffee, help pay for the cardboard, uh, all, all well and good. Uh, so we'll get into the video and uh, see how I went about making it. So this is the easiest way that I know of how to make a ruined church. So I've used two millimeter cardboard. Uh, in this case, I've cut it uh, seven inches or uh, 18 centimeters by nine inches or 23 centimeters. But of course, the size is entirely up to you. Uh, where the, the, the roof line is, just score a line. Uh, if you don't cut deep enough, it won't bend. If you cut it too deep, of course, it'll just cut straight through. Uh, so you, you, may, you, may, you may have to practice scoring two millimeter card so you get it just right. So with a, a ruler on your pencil line, just score, score along that line and that will bend over to make a roof. Okay, so already you've got the, the wall and the roof of the church. Just need to put the end piece in. Uh, cut your windows out. Uh, any windows this shape is obviously going to be a church. Very ecclesiastical shape of window. Uh, quite easy to do. Uh, just um, a rectangle there. And, and I used uh, a jam jar just to get these uh, uh, shapes at the top. So quite easy to do. And I, I've, I've left three uh, positions on the side and the middle like that for my uh, buttresses. We're going to have buttresses on the uh, three on the front and two on the side. Um, but we can cut the shapes of the stone that the church is made from before we do any of that. It's going to make life so much easier. So if you can see, I've cut where the stones are going to be and all you need to do for that is once you've marked it out with a pencil then cut at a at a 40 <laughs> at a 45 degree angle that way and then put the ruler that way and 45 degree angle that way I nearly cut my thumb off <laughs> uh, but you're cutting a groove you can see that you're cutting a groove into the cardboard again it may take a little practice to, to get that but um, it's, it's a very effective way of uh, and, and quick and easy way of making uh, stones which is what the church would be made from okay so now we've got that bit then we need another piece of card like this are we the right way up no um, that way, that way, let's try this bit. That's it. Uh, we need one, two, three buttresses along the side there and two on the side piece. So that's five, but, uh, five buttresses or 10 sides. And for every th three, I've made these uh, a quarter of an inch wide these three, <laughs> these three sections, a quarter of an inch per section, okay, which is uh, six mil. So we've got that effect. And then uh, this distance is the same as you made your stones on this piece, okay? So I've made these half an inch apart. And again, cut out the groove so that when you cut it out 
from there like that. So you come down an angle from the first section, come down a bit, come down at an angle for the second section, and then that bit for the third. So you end up with, with that. And you've already got your grooves for your, um, for your stones. And that will sit there like so. So I need five left hand and five right hand. It's, it's going to be a, the, the other hand on the other side. Okay, and that's going to make, if you can see, that's going to make my buttress. Don't know if I can hold that better, like that. Okay, so I'll cut my buttresses up, uh, 10 of them. Uh, but once you've got this shape and marked out and cut your uh, stones, all you've got to do is then cut them out and you've, they're all ready then to uh, go on to the church. So I'll do that, I'll cut these out. Uh, there'll be uh, a piece, a backing piece, the same width, same width as these these three pieces here okay and then I'll fill it in with another piece on the well <laughs> if, if I go away and make them then I can show you exactly what I'm talking about very difficult to explain but I'll, I'll, I'll make, make them anyway all the buttresses uh, maybe just stick them on also and uh, you'll you'll know exactly what I mean but that's the basic uh, uh, marking and cutting out. I, I know it's a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit floppy, where I've cut through through the cardboard, but that won't matter because I'm going to stick it onto some half-inch uh, polystyrene. That will give it the thickness of the wall and keep it sturdy. Okay, so I'll go away and do all that. Before that, <laughs> you need to cut these shapes out. So whatever shape you've got there for your window then you need to make again and then cut them out like that so that they will sit there give it more of a three-dimensional shape and then I'll, I'll put the window up, uh, on the back but I'll do that later okay so I'll go and do all those cuttings and gluings and stickings on and uh, come back and show you the result just a quick update then um, the sides of the buttresses I stuck on hot melt glue two for each one along there and then filled in with these uh, vertical pieces like so so those, those fillers in there and then a slightly wider bigger piece uh, to fill in these <laughs> I'm just just going through a bit of a thunderstorm here so it might be a bit noisy uh, like so they're just a, a little bit wider and longer so they end up looking like that so that that's the buttresses then complete um, okay so I'll go away and carry on putting the rest of these on and then uh, I can f fit the two pieces together so <laughs> if this thunderstorm ever finishes and we get away with not being flooded out uh, I'll be back in just a moment okay so finished the church off now put all my buttresses on and all the coverings on there uh, put the two pieces together and backed it with some half inch polystyrene uh, this is the only area that will be seen this will be a broken walled area um, put my roof on I've covered a slate roof before uh, just three eight squares uh, going that way and two three eight squares going that way cut up halfway and then they sit on there and then go all the way up to the top there so it gives gives the impression of a of a slate roof okay so that's that all the windows I've cut these out these were when they're painted a different colour they'll sit behind there like like so make it a little bit more church like okay so I'll
paint it and uh, well do what I need to do with it but basically that that's that's the building done uh, so uh, if you wanted to make one it's a very easy option to do uh, you've got all the uh, st uh, brickwork or stonework all marked out already uh, it's just a case of uh, giving it a coat of paint really so I'll finish it off set it into a bit of a diorama make it look a little more uh, in keeping and then uh, I'll be back to show you the finished thing okay so finish the church off and set it into a bit of a, a small diorama there um, I, I didn't use any paint um, regular viewers to this channel will know that I I hate painting I'm okay with making something designing and making but for, for painting it's just not my thing <laughs> So I gave the whole the cardboard a coat of um, wall filler with a little bit of water. That gave it then a, a base then for finishing uh, what what I wanted to put on top. So the the wall filler is like an undercoat, and I just uh, just well painted it on, although it isn't paint. Uh, once that was dry, then I used a. a a grey tile grout and then uh, put that on, brushed that on but then took most of it off with a damp sponge and that that gives that kind of um, well stone kind of uh, concretey finish okay and then all I did after was just take off a little bit more with sandpaper so I, I, I don't use paint or wherever I can avoid it I I will uh, for the window frames I did paint those and then for the um, the windows themselves I just sprayed a little red paint onto some see-through plastic uh, to uh, to give the impression of a stained glass window although I know it isn't uh, but uh, anyway uh, put the um, broken uh, wall down there uh, but that's that's basically basically it so just for the sake of two pieces of cardboard and that's all it is just two bits of cardboard stuck together and then uh, it, it's these um, buttresses that uh, determine that the shape of the church really and the shape of the windows obviously so extremely easy to make don't have to bother with carving uh, uh, bricks out of styrofoam or uh, anything like that um, it, it's just a ve very easy option to make a decent looking building with just uh, just cardboard and then backing it with uh, a little bit of polystyrene <laughs> okay um, I'm not sure if that looks better or not. What do you think? I think that looks okay. Maybe too much. Still haven't found my wheel. I'll find it one day. Okay, so one church, cardboard church, easy to make. Please subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, click the notification bell and you will be informed about new videos that come along. Um, I've instigated the um, what do they call it super thanks button if you'd like to buy me a coffee help pay for my cardboard <laughs> uh, other than that I will see you in the next video and uh, until then I wish you all the very best of happy modeling <laughs>